Today I'm going to show you what is Backface Calling in Blender. So let's see it. Here we have our cube. I'm going to let this light. And to see the face orientation of any object, any face, you can go here and select face orientation. And now you will see that this cube is blue. What does it mean that? That means that it's the right face orientation. It's where we have the normals. The normals are these arrows perpendicular of each face. To see these arrows, what you have to do is to go to edit mode and go here and select normals. And these lines is the orientation of all the faces. That means that this angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so the opposite of the blue faces, I'm going to delete this one. So I'm going to select with the face tool, this face and delete it. And now we can see that inside is red. Why is red? Because it's the other side of one face. So blue means front face and red is the back face. So now you know the difference between front face and back face. And you know that this is the face orientation, these colors. Remember, to see these colors, you have to able this. If not, you're not going to see it. Okay, now you know this. We have an option. If we go here, call back face calling. And if we click here, look. All the back faces, the red faces, disappear. So this option is to say to the program, don't render the back faces. That means that your computer will be faster. And now if we move the camera, you will see that only we can see the front faces, the blue faces. However, when inside should be red, should be a back face, it's not being rendered. We can do another experiment, for example, if we create a plane. I'm going to leave this plane here. And this is the front face, but in the other side, we have the back face. So it's not being rendered. So you can have a floor. I'm going to disable the colors. You can have a floor and able this option. So now it's disabled. And if you want to see the objects without seeing the floor, for example, disable this option. So every time that you are facing the back face, thanks to back face calling, you will see through the object. However, this is not being applied in the render. If we go to render materials, you will see that we can see the materials. But what if you want to apply this effect? Then, for example, let's select this floor and now let's go to material view. In shade editor, let's create a new material. And if you go here in this panel, you can show and open this panel with N. If you go to options, here we have this option called backface calling. And we know what's that. So if you able this with the object that you have the material, now in the render, it's not going to render when it's the backface view. So if I press camera and I try to move it, you will see it's not being rendered. And if I want to play the same with this cube, I'm going to set this cube and do the same here. For example, let's change the color. You can see that now it's only being rendered. Let me hide all this. The front faces. So to sum up, back face calling is to say to your computer, to Blender, please don't render back faces. So go faster. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.